technical difficulty. Uh, <clears throat> I want to talk to you just a minute about picking up and going on when you've had something that discouraged you or made you think that you couldn't go on. Um, it can be physical illness. It can be uh, your physical illness. It can be physical illness of a family member or a close uh, friend. It can be financial difficulty. It can be depression. It can be just a lack of confidence. Our society is permeated with low self-esteem. Uh, in part due to social media and the lying apps that we all look at. Nothing that we see on most social media is real. And so that can cause terrible low self-esteem in a lot of people. I had an experience this week with a young girl who was ready to just give up on life because she thought she couldn't measure up to someone on social media. And the person she was looking at was a complete lie, which we won't go into. But the point I'm trying to make here is we all encounter things that cause us to feel weakness in our body, in our mind, in our soul. And that's not what's really important. What's important is that we control it. We master it. We take charge. And sometimes these things are horrible. Sometimes we make them horrible in our mind, but the effect can be similar. Uh, the old saying, make it a mountain out of a molehill, is so true for most of us. I can do that. I've always been one that could do that. But sometimes we encounter true difficulty. And when we encounter these things that cause us to feel weakness, and that get us off track in different ways, what we have to do is think about what we're doing this for. What are we trying to be healthy for? Why are we working out? Why are we mindful of our nutrition? What is the purpose? And the purpose is to have a healthy body, to live as long as we can, as good as we can. And there's something I want you to think about. Um, People who tend to work out and be health-minded, anybody that might watch this, you may have what I call a charismatic personality, where you're sort of a natural-born leader, and you have tremendous influence on people around you. So sometimes, if people with that personality allow themselves, if uh, you, you allow yourself, if we allow ourselves to get down in the dumps and get weak and tired, then people around us will tend to go the same way. So we have a responsibility to our friends and our loved ones to be as strong as we can be. And yes, we're all going to have our moments. We're all going to have things come to us that weaken us for a season. But when that happens, I want you to remember, you're stronger than you know. Uh, I had an issue in the past week that caused me to lose some reps on my bench press. And it, it's so hard to do that, you know, for a lifter. And, um, you know, I'm far from a competitive lifter or bodybuilder, but I want to be strong. I want to be healthy. And so if I can't get all my reps, it, it's hard for me. But I'm never going to get all those reps if I don't get back in the saddle. So I didn't get all my reps on my bench press this week. But I got all my reps on my squat, on my harness squat, front harness squat, which is just the devil. And um, one extra, that last one I sat down on that bucket and, for a moment, which is much harder than if you just touch it and come back up. Because the truth is, I have no reason not to. I have no excuse. Because even though I've had an issue that made me weak in the last week, <laughs> um, I know that these are the strongest muscles in my body. I know the strength is there. I know that I can get down and get back up 
with the weight that my trainer has prescribed for me, advised me to, to lift with, um, the number of times I'm supposed to. Now with the bench press, overhead press, you know, I am a girl. That's not really an excuse, but upper body strength does not come easy for most women. And so that bench press, that overhead press, it's a little more challenging because these muscles are just not as big. But I know the strength is there in, in these muscles. And so what I'm telling you is you are stronger than you know. You've got muscles in your body and in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, your brain, everywhere. You've got hidden strength that's there when you need it. You just got to dig down deep and get it. Now, I'm not talking about working out if you're sick or injured. This is not just about working out. This is about life in general. It's what I call a lesson of the iron. Lifting weights teaches me so much. And one of the things that it's taught me is that I'm stronger than I know. When I first started lifting, a 100 pound deadlift scared me to death. And I passed that some time back. I'm gonna do Romanian deadlifts here in a little bit after this for my hamstrings because the front squat really just you know, works your quads the most. But I'm gonna do that and be 100 or so. I can't remember, I'll have to look at my chart. But um, you're always stronger than you know. You may not feel like it. You may be going through something right now that you think you cannot survive. I'm not talking about the iron, even though that does it. I'm talking about something else in your life. It could be depression. It could be any number of things that you may be going through right now and you think you cannot go on. Trust me, you can. You're stronger than you know. Now get up. And um, always consult your physician before you begin any exercise or weight loss program. And in the meantime, dream big, work hard, make it happen. Love you all. Brenda Sue, catch you next time. Bye now.